Hello, good evening. We're the Hamer Lights. I'm Lynn. This is Sam, Jason Ressler, and Julia, and Einstein. And uh, we are happy to be doing this evening's Lenten devotional. So please hear the words from Psalms 63. O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. Okay, so uh, our assignment this evening is to think of a time we have felt discouraged or distressed. Were we able to turn to God for comfort? And how did we experience God's care for us? Uh, this was difficult for us to start talking about, but once we once we got going, we were able to see uh, a lot of um, ways that this happens for us, um, mostly in everyday life. So um, for myself, uh, thinking about um, feeling discouraged or distressed, I've very seldom felt discouraged. And um, I think a lot of that is because of a very simple prayer that um, I always said growing up with my parents, God is great, God is good, let us thank God for this food and this family. And I think that that always um, just is sort of there and, and keeping me from feeling discouraged. Um, I did go through a period of time where I felt really angry and I, I um, found with that uh, the, the uh, phrase, um, be still and know that I am God. Um, once I was able to be still and just think on that, um, I was able to uh, feel a lot calmer. And so I, I'd say that that was a time when I felt God's comfort and God's care. When I was thinking about it, I um, started thinking a lot about how you talked to us about God when we were growing up, and I have a very distinctive memory of like being in the car with you running errands and you telling me that your view of God is that it's not like an entity or a person it's like all the good in the world and that's something that I have definitely adopted into my own beliefs and it's really nice because like any time that I feel discouraged or distressed or any time that somebody helps me I can think of it as God being the good in the world and the good in the world being in that person and them helping me. Um, hello. Uh, <laughs> you all don't know me very well yet. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, uh, I guess I will share that um, when I was a child, I had a little bit of a hard uh, well, a hard childhood in some ways. Um, my mother uh, was bipolar and was prone to, uh, she was just a, different, a difficult person to be around sometimes. And there were definitely tr many trying experiences through my childhood, but I was also raised in the church. And um, I think that's something that was very nice was people in our community who sort of saw a need like even though there was a lot of hardship and difficulty at home I still always felt uh, cared for and taken care of and you know be it maybe like a friend's family taking us out to lunch or a Friday night sleepover or I always felt like even though I had a very unstable situation at home there were always uh, adults and people looking out for me and caring for me and that felt like a very divine uh, situation 
So I was always appreciative. I always saw, yeah, I guess, yeah, I saw God through those people and through mm-hmm. their kindness. Mm-hmm. And that was That's great. Awesome. Um, and then I guess mine to close when I was thinking about this, um, sort of similar to my mom's in a little bit, uh, I was thinking about places that I went to be still and when you're sitting still it's easier to see beautiful things in the world and when you see beautiful things in the world it's easier to remember that there's goodness all around you um and so one of the times that that happened for me was that when I was in college uh there was an Episcopalian church um that had Sunday night services called Compline services um that were about a half hour of choral music in a darkened church. Um, And it was one of the few things that I did every week that didn't really have an end goal or a plan or a purpose other than just going and doing that. And I think that um, I don't have that right now, but I think that that was something that added a lot of positive good to my life, having that every week to sit still. So I think that sort of in moments of stillness like that, I also see God. Thank you. So now what we're going to do is we'll read Psalm, the Psalm again, Psalm 20, 63, Psalm 63 again. And uh, we encourage you to think of a time that you felt discouraged or distressed and think about, were you able to turn to God for comfort? How did you experience God's care for you? And then maybe you'd like to talk to someone in your household or call a friend or write in your journal or or just sit and ponder. So um, we'll read, uh, if we can all see it, we will read Psalm 63 together and we invite you to read with us. Oh Oh God, God, you are my God. I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds you. Great. And finally, we are to close with a prayer. And so, this is changing the mood a little bit, but um, we wanted to share with you our favorite prayer that we've really been enjoying during the um, shutdown when all four of us have been here together most of the time. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. Amen, 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 amen. (laughs) Thank you.